Hi guys, and a welcome to the family fudge. Now you can probably tell by the ears on my head that I am a Disney mom. I love Disney and I love Disney at Christmas time especially. So today I'm gonna to share with you five of my favorite things to do at the Disneyland Resort at Christmas time. And then to celebrate reaching 60,000 subscribers on this channel, I also have a giveaway, so stay tuned. Now as always, before we get started, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and give this video a big thumbs up if you like Disney as much as I do. Now let's get started. Okay guys, so if you've never experienced Christmas time at Disneyland, it is magical. There are decorations everywhere, special things to go to, foods to try, a lot of fun stuff. Now I know I'm not the only fan of Christmas time at Disneyland because it's really crowded. It's one of their busiest times of the year. So because of this, there's not always an opportunity to experience everything that there is to do. So you kind of have to pick and choose. So, Here's what we always do when we go to Disney at Christmas time. The first attraction that we never miss is It's a Small World Holiday. Now I know a lot of people when it comes to It's a Small World, they either love it or they hate it. But our family, we love it. We love Small World! And we especially love it during Christmas time because they have special music and they add decorations and it's really fun and cute. And it's a ride that the whole family can go on together, which I really enjoy. During the holiday overlay, you'll find the classic Small World song mixed with jingle bells. And as you travel through the ride, you get to see different Christmas and holiday customs from other countries. Now during the Christmas season, this ride is super popular. So wait times can reach over one hour for this ride. I know it's crazy. So here's what I recommend. Try to ride it first thing in the morning if you can. And if you can't, you can always try to get a fast pass and come back later. Another good time is nighttime, closer to closing time. There are less crowds and you get to experience it at night when all the lights are up. It is so pretty. And one of the great things about this ride is that they keep these decorations up until January 21st. So even if you can't get there around Christmas time, you can still experience it in January. The next thing that we never miss is a special Christmas parade. Now it's called the Christmas Fantasy Parade and it is awesome. Now generally I think all Disneyland parades are great, but the Christmas one takes it up another notch. It includes all of the classic characters like Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy, but they also add in a lot of Christmas characters as well, like reindeer and snowmen and gingerbread men, toy soldiers, and even Santa Claus makes an appearance at the end. On a typical day, they'll run the parade twice. Now, I recommend getting there early, at least an hour before the parade starts, if you wanna get a good spot. But Disney does not like you to save seats, so keep that in mind. When we watch the parade, we like to sit closer to It's a Small World. We try to avoid Main Street because it's definitely more crowded. We like to get there early, and I always bring snacks and activities for the kids to do while they wait. Now another thing that we never miss during the Christmas season at Disneyland are the special snacks and treats that you can find. But we try to be wise with our food budget. Normally what we do is we'll eat breakfast at our hotel and we'll bring our lunch with us. That way we can save money. And we use that money to buy snacks and treats while we're there. And we usually like to find things that we can share. During the holiday season, you can really find so many fun and cute treats. We really like the special cookies, the Rice Krispie treats, and the cupcakes. Those are so fun. Now this year and last year during the holiday season, they've started a new festival called the Festival of Holidays, which includes a lot of different foods from around the world. So you can really try a lot of things. Before we go, I look on Instagram to try to find out what the most popular items are at this festival, and then we only try those. And we usually share those as well. At the festival this year, we tried the special cookies, the special tarts, the cheese dip, and they were all really good. Some other fun options are the funnel cakes. We tried a gingerbread one that was very tasty, and a special Yule log cake. 
Also great options if you want to share it with your family. Now another one of our favorite things to do during Christmas time is to meet Santa Claus. Now we used to meet him at Big Thunder Ranch, but that's before they closed it to build Star Wars Land. So now you can find Santa over at the Redwood Creek Trail at Disney's California Adventure. So he's in the other park now. And there are a few other places that you can meet up with Santa, but at DCA it's a great place to meet him. In that area, you can also find a lot of other fun Christmas activities as well. But Santa's pretty popular over at DCA, so I recommend that you go there early in the morning or late at night. The lines will be a lot shorter then. But unfortunately, in my experience, sometimes it doesn't even matter what time we meet Santa because one of my kids ends up crying because they're scared of him. Okay guys, now the last favorite thing on my list is to buy a new Christmas ornament. Now you can usually find Christmas ornaments at the Disneyland Resort year round, but I think at Christmas time they have even more to choose from, which I really like. And sometimes it's hard to narrow it down, but usually the ornaments are around $20 and up, so I try not to go crazy. You can find just about every character. You can find big ornaments and small ornaments, glass ones, musical ones, you can find shoe ornaments and purse ornaments and there are so many to choose from. This year I ended up with the castle ornament and this one actually lights up as well. Okay guys, so there are my top five things that we always do during the Christmas season at Disney. Let me know in the comments down below if you do any of these things or if you do something different or if you've never been to Disney, let me know. But before we end, I wanna give you information about the giveaway. I have two brand new, never been worn pairs of rose gold mini ears. So I'm gonna be giving one away on YouTube and one away on Instagram. So I'm gonna go ahead and put links down below so you can find out all the information on how to enter. Okay friends, I hope you enjoyed this video today and thank you so much for helping us reach over 60,000 subscribers. I'm so excited, so thank you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.